few places in the United States that you can experience a mountain sheep hunt without the lifelong weight of the draw. Home to the Barbary sheep, or commonly known as Audad, the sweeping landscapes of New Mexico is one of those places. And for this adventure, I decided to team up with my good friend, Brendan Rosales. Having been on a couple of elk hunts with Team Elk while Brendan was a young guide, I'm excited that he is now operating his own outfit. And I know that he has put a lot of hard work and dedication to make his dreams a reality. And that is exactly why I'm excited to hit the mountain in pursuit of Audad with him. With little to no water, the desolate desert landscapes found here lack quality feed and forage. And that alone makes you wonder how anything can survive on this forsaken ground. We can get to that next little rise, maybe skip the drone. It just goes to show how tough these animals are. He's right behind the yucca bush on the skyline right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's like a 22, 23 inch ram. First morning's off to a good start. It's exciting to see its bay disappear so fast and they move so fast out here. It is unbelievable the terrain they cover in the time that they move. Oh, it should be a good day. We can pack up and head to the glassing point and see what we can see. these two odd at and I kind of got excited thinking it would be two bachelor rams but it's not it's it's just two ewes feeding hanging out together As predicted in the forecast, day two brought with it a strong, sustained wind with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. The good part about the strong wind is that it would keep the sheep bedded down. This would be my opportunity to make a stalk undetected. You know, they don't stay bedded for very long, but with this wind, they're not gonna go on the windy side, so they're gonna stay tucked in that bowl. Gives us a little bit longer to- Get up there. Make this climb, yeah. Huh. I mean, this is one of the first actual mature rams that we've seen, you know, we've seen some smaller rams and stuff, but this is the first mature ram that we've seen, and he dwarfs pretty much all the ewes around him. I'm 
I'm gonna put a 200 yard zero on my gun and I'm gonna chamber around. He's 591 yards right now. We could come up over there in that Ocotillo. I think it would be about 250, 275. Christy with his head to the left. He's 361 yards. He didn't go, I don't know, three, 300 yards over this ridge. We went down in this valley, bedded down in oak brush. Try to make a good follow-up shot. 250. Drilled him. Good shot. You see him running. I need a range when he stops running. Three hundred and ninety-six yards. And just just hang on, hang on, hang on. He bedded down. He's gonna he's gonna roll. And now I have no shot. You're not gonna need a shot, Chris. I definitely overthought my wind hold on my first shot. Um, first two shots. In the little valley that, that ram was bedded in, it just wasn't that much wind and uh, way overthought my shot. But fortunate for me, um, you know, I hit him hard. He bedded down and was able to get a follow-up shot. What a beaut. Very pretty oh, round. Man, heavy. Look how big his bases yeah. are. No gap in between his horns. Super massive bases like you were talking about looking for in these, yeah. these older rams. Nice mature ram. They're beautiful. His chaps look at their knees are totally wore yeah. out too from the terrain here. All this rock. They're, they're very tough animals. I really appreciate everything this week and it's just been such an honor watching you come up as a guide and now you're outfitting and. It's been a blast hanging out with you the last couple of years and. You got lots more years in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hunting is about so much more than the harvest. It's about people and memories shared together. Hunting forges lifelong friendships and the promise of another adventure to come.